All right. Hello, everybody. It is I, Granarite, and here we are with hopefully our final episode of this grass type playthrough uh, using uh, Victory Bell, Ludicolo, Sunflora, Roselia, and Vileplume. We're here at the Elite Four, so we're going to do our uh, stat check before we go in. Let's give a berry to Roselia really quick. All right, so let's see what we got here. Victory Bell. Chlorophyll for its ability. Raises speed in the sunshine. Has the King's Rock. Stats highest to lowest are attack 174, HP 170, speed 115, special attack 108, defense 91, special defense 84, sludge bomb, hidden power, fighting, a razor leaf, and double team for its moveset. Ludicolo, Rock and Surf, Ice Beam, Giga Drain, Rain Dance, uh, has the Sea Incense for its item. Stats highest to lowest are HP, 117, Special Attack, 163, Special Defense and Speed, both at 116, Defense, 93, Attack, 79, has Rain Dish for its ability, so it recovers HP slowly while in the rain. Sunflora has Chlorophyll as well, raises the speed in the sunshine. Citrus Berry for its item right now. Stats highest to lowest are HP 171, special attack 158, special defense 145, um, attack 81, defense 75, speed 48, has solar beam growth, sunny day, and grain as its ability. And Roselia, magical leaf, grass whistle, shadow ball, leech seed, has a prism berry for its item, stats highest to lowest are special attack 141, HP 138, special defense 135, speed 87, attack 75, defense 63, natural cure for its ability, heals upon switching out, and Vileplume, chlorophyll, raises speed in the sunshine, wax incense for its item, stats highest to lowest are HP 183, defense 140, Special attack 123, special defense 112, uh, attack 97, speed 74, pedal dance, protect, toxic stun spore for its item, for its abilities. We're going to start off with Roselia up front going into Sydney. And here we go. So the hardest thing I expect to be facing here is going to be Glacia. Really, honestly, I'm not too worried until we get to Steven in this episode. Personally. Alright. There's the mighty Inna that he starts out with. We're gonna go in with a magical leaf to start things off. Good damage. We don't care about sand attack with magical leaf. We still hit it no matter what. Part of the reason that we have it, because there's so many of uh, accuracy or evasion moves in this late game. It's nice to have a Pokemon that can do that. We're gonna swap the Victory Bell for Shift Tree. Go in with a sludge bomb. Very nice. Absol's coming out next. We're just going to keep Victory Bell out now. Another sludge bomb. Almost gets it in a single hit. So he's going to heal it here. We'll go in with the Hidden Power Fight. Oh, he doesn't heal it because of the Citrus Berry. Well, the Hidden Power Fighting should take it down. Cacturn's coming out next. We'll just keep Victory Bell out. Throw another Sludge Bomb.
All right, and we'll swap back the Roselia for Crawdon. Magical Leaf. I wonder why I had to think about that for a bit. Alright, let's start with Ludicolo up front in this next fight, he thinks. And here we go with Phoebe. Dusclops always starts out with a Protect, so we'll just Rain Dance. And then we'll go in with a Surf. Good damage. We're boosted in the sun or in the rain, so that's that's even better. We'll just keep the Ludicolo out for this Bayonet. Especially since we have the rain up already. I mean, if we could take out Dusclops as tanky as it is with a Surf, we could take out Bayonets with a Surf. For sure. I think this snow's fake out. No, it doesn't, actually. So are we faster? We are. We did build our Ludicolo for speed. Look at her go. The rain has stopped. We'll still go in with the Surf, even though the rain's not up anymore. Drops our special defense a bit. It eats a Citrus Berry. Are, do we still do enough damage to take it out? It's gonna be pretty darn close. A little short. So let's rain dance since he's gonna heal. There's another healing item. And that surf takes it out. Good job, Ludicolo. So let's use an elixir on Ludicolo after that fight, and then we'll hyper potion up. And then we're gonna swap to Sunflora here. So here comes the ice. Now the question is, is are we faster than Celio? We're not. Oh, don't do that. We're on cord into this and to ingrain. Which is annoying. Ugh. What's the Pokemon power for, uh... 
want for like 10. I can't switch it out because we ingrained. <laughs> Sunny day is not horrible. The encore should wear off here. Now we're gonna try to growth. It's still faster than us. Oh, the, that's because the hail's up. that's going to start to do a lot of damage. We have the sun up. We've got a couple um, growths off, but we need to take this Celio down. That's four, five. Ooh, that hurt. This one knows Blizzard? It does. Go away. Okay, well, there's Wall Ring. Man, Ice Beam is so much. Are we strong enough to take it down? We've done a. F we haven't fully powered up our growths, but at this point, I can't keep sitting out with some flora. might just have to try to power through with these solar beams. I was trying to get it maxed out, but it's just not feasible. Oh, that's not good. And we're out of sunlight. We don't go down. Let's just see if we're faster. We are, and we got a critical hit. So Sunfloor actually wipes through Glacia. Barely. Heal your Pokemon power stuff. No, we did. We did that in the fight. We just need to heal. All right. So we swap up Ludicolo for the next fight. Rain Dance because it protects. Now, the thing that we have to watch out for this Rain Dance will help Kingdra go faster, but it does heal us, so hopefully, we get the bigger edge. It's gonna level up Ludicolo. Hey, Muzza. Thanks for the uh, subscription. Welcome to the channel. Wow. I really appreciate that. 
All right, we got Kingdra out here next. Uh, we're gonna go in with a Giga, uh, with, a, with a Giga Drain. Decent damage, not amazing. We could try to Ice Beam it. It would do about the same, honestly. That's not a good paralysis. Um, he's gonna heal it here. We'll try to push through the paralysis. We're really just fishing for a freeze. That was an amazing critical hit. I was trying to get rid of the paralysis, thank you very much. Yeah, those are really hurting now. Flygon's coming out next. So let's rain dance. Eat an earthquake. Now, we were faster, so let's just nuke it with an Ice Beam. And then we have Salamence. Now, I'm pretty sure Salamence is slower than Flygon. We don't care about the attack drop. Oh, it's not. It's not slower. But <laughs> Ludicolo, clutch. Three HP. Look at that. Good deal. What? <laughs> what a survival. Alright, let's throw Sunflora up. I got any berries I want to give it. We'll, get, we'll give it a Asper Berry. All right, so this is the Wallace fight. So the main thing we need to worry about here is Tentacruel. So we're going to start off by throwing up the Ingrain. It's going to Rain Dance. Alright, now we need to... Sunny Day? We eat a Blizzard. Let's see how much this does. It's not got Stab. But it is still quite a bit. But he's only got five of those. And he, and he can miss. And he can miss. So one growth. Two growth. We need to heal again. That was the Asper Berry unfreezing us. And he crits, and it doesn't matter. Okay, well, now that's happening. Oh, 
Uh, we got a Vile Plume here. I think he's still got one more Blizzard. Let's throw a Protect up. Alright, so let's Toxic. And let's revive some Flora. And heal it. And swap back to some Flora. And a Grain. I'm surprised he lets it just go down, but I guess now he's going to send out... Oh, it's Milotic next. Okay. So as long as we can eat an Ice Beam, we're okay. We're just looking to set up here. I'm just trying to speed up through the setup. So we have two gross, three, four... Five. No full restore. Six. That was a critical. Don't do don't do those. That's not allowed. Sunny day. I think we're maxed out on special attack. Which again means the main thing we need to worry about is Tentacruel. And really we need to worry about Tentacruel Sludge Bomb. And Sunflora does not have a lot of defense. We're not even faster. Okay. Can I stun spore it? No, I can't. Can I stun spore it? No, I can't. Can I put it to sleep? And then leech seed it? Alright. Let's get Vile Plume back. I think we're gonna we're gonna be done with uh Sunflora for now. Um, it's got a lot of special defense, just naturally. Let's just go for a Shadow Ball. option. Let's send out Vile Plume. Can I stun you? Try to throw ice beams. Swap the Ludicolo. Good paralysis. Honestly, fine with you using up your um, full restores on Tentacruel. We should be okay with that for a bit. I think we take it down next turn with a Giga Drain because of the Leech Seed chip damage. So now we just need to get past. Gyarados 
He's got three left. He's got Whiskash, Gyarados, and Ludicolo. I didn't see what he's sending out next. No matter what it is, we send out Victory Bell. Sludge Bomb, that Ludicolo. Nice. Alright, well, for Whiskash, we'll go back to Vile Plume here. We'll just keep Vile Plume out because we take the Intimidate drop, which we don't care about. Now, these Dragon Dances we have to worry about. We really need to take this thing out quick. It takes neutral damage from Grass Attacks. And we're all ready. Okay, good deal, good deal. Oh, that wasn't good. We need to shake off that confusion. All right, if we hit it with a get with a uh, pedal dance, I think we take it down. But it's gonna really be hurting us. Good, good snap out. Is this it? Come on, bop. Toxic finishes us off. Very nice. Easy peasy. It was not easy peasy. <laughs> Alright, let's get past all this talking. Alright, let's scan it in. We got past Wallace. I think Sunflora could have done better if it wasn't such a shit Pokemon. Honestly, Ludicolo is probably MVP of the team. Let's let's be real. this and stuff show soul rock there we caught it we caught some soul rocks to get that sunstone early all right ah, blah blah thank you Mashing through stuff really quick. I apologize. We need our HMU that has fly. the boat and get those leftovers Give these leftovers to Sunflora. 
And since we're already here, let's go ahead and level up to 75 on everybody. As we do for the Steven fight. part of the episode that I feel just takes the longest. I apologize for the flashing if that bothers you. Roselia is the only one still with moves that it could have learned. I think everybody else has already passed all their moves set. Well, the stone ones, yeah, maybe had one more attack. And remember, the reason we do this rare candy stuff is because if we did grass training, all we're doing it for is experience because we're already Eevee trained. Which is what all um, rare candies are, just that experience to level up. I'm getting a call back. Just a second, everybody. Sorry about that. Okay, let's finish this up. I had a doctor's appointment Thursday that I needed to reschedule. They were just now calling me back, of course. There we go. But sorry, I did not mean to do that fight either. All right, let's go refill our inventory really quick. Alright, let's go get to Steven. Finish out this playthrough. We're gonna swap Ludi Colo up to start things off against Steven. Alright. Throw a Max Repel on. 
guns. We don't have to fight anything on the way to them. Now, Steven, the, there are two things I'm worried about on Steven's team. That is the Skarmory and the Metagross. We can get past those two. I think we'll be fine. Oh, I got, where am I going? It's not like I haven't played this game almost 30 times already. Alright, let's take a final look at stats. Ludicolo has moved up to uh, stats highest to lowest, HP 229, special attack 221, special defense and speed both at 156, defense 125 and attack 106. Roselia, uh, highest to lowest is special attack 191, HP 184, special defense 183, speed 117, attack 101, defense 84. Sunflora has HP 229, special attack 214, special defense 195, uh, attack 108, defense 101, speed 64. Victory Bell has attack 236, uh, HP 229, speed 155, special attack 145, defense 122, uh, special defense 113. And Vileplume, HP 247, defense 190, special attack 167, special defense 152, attack 131, speed 99. And the only item change has been, uh, we should change the berry on Roselia, actually. Um, there's not a whole lot of stuff that I have need to worry about berry-wise here. So actually, we'll just keep it what it is. All right, so here we go for Steven. Let's give this a save. So if we can get past the Skarmory really quick, that would be I really, really ideal. And then we just need to get past the Metagross, however we can. So we're going to be surfing the Skarmory. Because it'll take neutral damage from whatever we do. And our surfs are pretty powered up. And man, Ludicolo just does a ton of damage. So we've already used up one of Steven's full restores. And I think we have this Skarmory stuck in a loop, in a heal loop. Which is awesome. So that means it's gone. I forget how many full restores he has. Like four or five. Armaldo is coming out next, which does know Aerial Ace. Um, it's Bug Rock type. Let's just keep Ludicolo out. It take, it's, super, it's weak to those surfs. Yeah, look at that. Ludicolo is not even worried. I want the Metagross. Claydol. I feel like we should use something else against Claydol. But I really like... I'm afraid that if we don't take Claydol out quickly, he just puts up a light screen. And really just bones us. Nice. Give me the Metagross. Alright, here it is. We'll see if two Surfs is strong enough to take this thing out. It is bulky, and it is powerful. Two Surfs will be enough. We survive the Psychic... Oh yeah, oh yeah we do. Is that Metagross down? No, it's not. So he's gonna heal it here. And he's dropped our special. Oh no, we take it out there, so it was a range. Metagross is down. Um, which is awesome. Let's just take out the Aggron. Then we just have Cradilly, and we're going to swap to 
Sunflora for the Cradilli. Because I don't think there's any way that Sunflora can take, or that Cradilli can take out Sunflora if we get ingrained in. Especially with the um, uh, leftovers on us as well. And we're just going to growth up. That's one, two, three, four, five, and we'll heal here. Six. Sunny day. No, we heard ourselves in confusion. Sunny day. And now we go for the solar beam, which will do neutral damage. Easy as pie. Ludicolo MVP against Steven's team. Which I kind of figured it was going to be. Steel types are just a real pain. All right. Get stuff up here to roll up our next team. Okay, that should be good. I need to get my handy dandy notebook out. Let's draw a Pokemon. Playthrough 28 is what we have here. We're going to roll a 1, 2, 3 to see what our starter is going to be before we choose our type and everything. So 1 is Trico, 2 is Torchic, 3 is Mudkip. We're going to have a Mudkip. Now we got to see what type we're going to use. So we have 12 types left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 types left. That coincides with what I have here. I have 6 done, another 17. So, uh, 1 to 11 is Grass, Fire, Flying, Water, Bug, Normal, Electric, Fighting, Rock, Psychic, and Dark. And our next playthrough is going to be on 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Normal type. This is our first normal type team. Out of 8? Out of 8? And there are several Pokemon here that we cannot evolve because they lose their normal typing. So we'll see if we get any of those. So there are a total of 38 normal type Pokemon down this list. Apom, Azuro, Blissey, Castform, Clefable, Castform without using any weather moves, Clefable, Delcaddy, Ditto, Dodrio, Dunsparce, Eevee without evolving it, Exploud, Farfetch'd, Firo, Furret, Girafferig, Granbull, Kangaskhan, uh, Kecleon, Lickitung, Wynoon, Miltank, Knocked Out, Persian, Pidgeot, Porygon 2, Raticate, Slacking, Smeargle, Snorlax, Spinda, Stantler, Swablu without evolving it, Swellow, Tauros, Togetic, Ursaring, Wigglytuff, and Zangoose. And we're going to roll up five of them on this team. So let's see who we have. Starting out with 17. So 17, this is 18. So we have Kangaskhan. Three. Blissey. 34. So 18. 24. 32, no, that's not right, 30, do math, Swablu without evolving it, no, 34, what am I doing, Tauros, 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 31, 32, 30, 30, 34, Tauros, 6, Delcaddy, And one, Apom. So our team is going to consist of, for this first normal type team, Apom, Blissey, Delcaddy, Kangaskhan, 
and Tauros. So we'll get that set up, and then we'll do our first uh, episode of that playthrough later this morning. So just look for me to come back online. We do hope you all enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.